Hi everyone, I'm Matt Gash with SoundersFC.com here at Community America Ballpark in Kansas City, Kansas. Where the Sounders win 2-1 over the Kansas City Wizards. For the second year in a row, they clinch a playoff spot here in Kansas City. Actually, it's funny because when I coached the Galaxy, we ended up clinching here as well. And one year, I think when I was with Columbus, we clinched here. So uh, it's, it's, been, it's been a good place that way. I've also lost some games here. But, uh, uh, you, know, you know, they're a team that, you know, obviously made a lot of changes this year and a team that's still growing together. So, uh, you know, it's not a team I want to run into every day. Casey Keller went largely untested in the first half, only having to clear away two headers from Matt Beasler to keep the score level at 0-0 at halftime. They've set their team up to play on a very small field, and, they're, and they, they did a good job at it. They, they lock you in. They don't let you get out of the back. And if you're having trouble holding the ball up front, you know, you're gonna, they're just going to put it back down your throat. San Aniasi got the Sounders on the board first in the 66th minute, taking a pass from Nate Jaqua on Jaqua's first touch since coming on the field just a minute earlier. Jimmy Nielsen stopped his initial effort, but Niasi knocks home the rebound for his fourth goal in three games, giving the Sounders the 1-0 lead. So I saw him, saw him a great job running through, and I was able to find him in, and uh, he did a I think he, he hit the first one off the keeper and then was able to finish the second one. San is just on fire right now. You know, it took him forever to score one, and now he can't stop scoring uh, to help himself. I mean, it was a great combination with Nate, Jaqua. Jaqua put a good ball into him. Uh, <clears throat> you know, Nielsen made the first save. Sana stayed with it and put away the rebound. I took the ball right from the middle of the field, you know, go to goal, I, I take on the defenders, and then I played a one-two with Nate. He put me through. I tried to <coughs> hit it to the um, far post, but the goalkeeper made it safe, and then the ball came right back at me, and then I banged it in. Jake would find another substitute, Alvaro Fernandez, for the second goal. Fernandez slipped in behind the Wizards' defense, then slid the ball past Nielsen for the 2 0 lead. Good ball by Jaqua, good combination. Good first ball by Fernandez, the ball back from Jaqua, and then once he got in the box, he made, he made a great move to open himself up for the left footed shots. So Flacco made a great individual run. Um, is one that he kind of one-twoed off me, and I just played him through, and uh, I think he still cut somebody and then put it, by, uh, put it by Nielsen. The Wizards would pull closer as Teal Bunbury used some trickery to earn a penalty kick. Davey Arnault put away the PK to make it 2-1 in the 84th minute. Then Kai Kamara nearly brought KC level in stoppage time, but Seattle held on the, down the stretch for the playoff clinching victory. We want to do some more things in the playoffs than just qualify for him. We qualified last year, but uh, it's certainly a tremendous accomplishment for our club, you know, in the first two years to qualify both years for the playoffs to win two Open Cups so far. Uh, and, and as well, we've got more wins than we had last year. We've won four in a row on the road now. Uh, those are all those are all positive. So we're not afraid uh, of who we're going to play. You know, whoever comes our way, we're going to prepare for them. Again, Sounders FC win 2-1. San Aniasi gets the first goal, Alvaro Fernandez with the second. They clinch a playoff berth. Tickets for that playoff game will be available on October 21st at 10 a.m. Visit soundersfc.com slash playoffs for tickets. For soundersfc.com from the Community of Ballpark, I'm Matt Gashk. Thanks so much for joining us. Hey!